Hey guys, it's Carbon 2 here, and I've been working with Dreamweaver a little bit today, and I've learned some pretty basic stuff, and I felt like making a video on it, so I'm going to show you just some really basic stuff. Um, I hope this will help anyone just starting out with it, um, who really just wants to learn, you know, basic bog standard stuff to get you started. So, this is what I've been working on this evening. It's pretty basic. Um... What I've done is, this is an image I made in Photoshop and inserted in. This text has just been done through Dreamweaver. There's an image here that you can click on, will take you to another page. And this link here does the same thing. And from this page, there's also a link that will take you back to home. So now what we're going to do is go over into Dreamweaver and I'm going to show you how we can um, make something similar. So what you're going to want to do is open up, start a HTML document in Dreamweaver. Actually, I'll even do that with you. So, it should bring you to this when you start up Dreamweaver. Click on HTML. It'll probably come up with this, and it's just like a template kind of thing, I think. Just uh, press Control A, which selects everything. Delete that. So, what you're going to start with is one of those little arrows. Um, it's next to the M key. You just got to hold down Shift and do that. Hopefully, you can manage that. Do HTML and close that. And then just enter to go to the next line and do slash and it'll probably just fill in HTML if not just type it in so this is what we've got so far anything that I now do within here is gonna be HTML I forget what that means but this is just um, the sort of code language thing that we're gonna work with for now so you're gonna wanna have a few little things uh, you're gonna wanna put in title and again, you just do this, press a slash, and it should fill it in for you. Um, type in head. Feel free to make rude jokes about that. And then the body. Like so. Alrighty. So that's really basic stuff. So in title, that's going to be the title of the web page. It's going to be what shows up, um, like up here on your browser. So... Yeah, you can just do something like derp. Okay, so you're going to want to do that. Um, I'm sort of not too familiar with Dreamweaver yet, but I think what you do, you fill in this little, you put these little P things in. I don't know what they do, but just put them in because it'll make the website work. Don't ask why that is, but just just do it. And we'll I'll I'll test it so that it you know we'll make sure it works okay so yeah just have the website title um, don't worry about head at the moment because <laughs> uh, when I tried to insert an image before and I put it into the like head section it didn't work very well so I'm just gonna chuck my image into the body section so you don't have to do this with the, like you don't have to do this through code you can if you're clever but I'm not with Dreamweaver so you just go insert image. And what I'm going to do is use... Oh, hang on. If I can manage to find my images, I'm going to use that. Um, here we go. Libraries, pictures. And I'm just going to use a picture of a horse. Alrighty, so it'll come up with this. Don't worry about that because I don't know what that means. Same deal for that. So then it's going to insert your image. On the design, it'll probably show up. Now again, I want you to do this funny P thing. And again... Don't ask me why, just do it because it'll make it work. So, do the P thing there. So there you've got an image. By the way, this section where it says code, obviously that's the code, and this is the design. So this is how your website is going to appear. You can make changes in design, and the code will then sort of be automatic. So, one example I'll show you here is you can change the background color. So you go, oh crap, where do you go? Okay, you go Modify, Page Properties. Um, it should come up with this, depending on what you know version of Creative Suite you're using. You can get a background color, just pick something. And again, this is pretty basic stuff, but yeah, this is what I know. And as you can see, it's just inserted this whole thing here. So you don't really have to do all the code. You can just chuck it in. And as you can see, this background is now gray. Now, keeping with the theme of a really basic website, another thing you can do is say I wanted to center this horse I want to select it so you know just click on it go format 
a line and center. Okay, so that centers the image, and as you can see, it's changed the code with this center thing. So again, you can just sort of make changes with the program without having to do the code. It'll just do that for you, unless you're smart like my friend who taught me most of this this morning. So, yeah. Um, okay, so what are we going to do next? We're going to try and hyperlink to another page. So, what I'm going to do first is start another document. It should come up with this. Just leave it. HTML, go create. This is going to be our other page. Delete all of that. Now, just do, um, you know, your HTML, and then close it off. Um, do body, and close the body like that. Do your little funny P thing. Type in uh, derpity, or whatever you are so inclined to type. And then if we go over to design, yep, yeah, see it's just got derpity. Really, really basic, but we're going to use that in a second. Okay, what I'm going to do, actually, what I'm going to do first is save untitled 6, okay? I'm going to go to my desktop. Now, um, actually, no, I'll do this with you. You're going to want to make a folder, just call it website, like that. I'm going to go website 2, because I've already got a folder called website. I don't know if it'll mess it up. Okay, within that folder... Make another one called Pages, and another one called Images. And this will basically, it's just for organizing your web page, because as you can see, even doing basic stuff can get pretty complicated. So any images you use for the website, you would want to put in there. I'm not going to with that horse picture, but that's what you should do. Okay, so your home page, or the page you start with, just call it index.html. Don't put it in the page Pages folder, just put it in the website folder. Go Save. Now the other one, which we're just going to call Derpity, I'm going to put that inside Pages, okay? And then I'm just going to leave that. Now what I'm going to want to do is come back to this section. And by the way, if it's if you're getting a bit confused, you can sort of just separate it. You know, use Tab like that, and do like Enter to just split it up. If there's like a blank line, it won't separate. It won't affect you know, the design and the placing. If you want to... Okay, like, let's say I've got some text here. Um, just, you know, just say text. Close that off. Now, if I want space in between the image and that text, what I want to do is create a blank line in between, go that thingy, BR, close it, and then do the slash thing. It's probably not going to do BR, so you just have to backspace and go BR. And that should um, just separate. See, see now there's a line of space. So that's what that will do. Okay. So yeah, that's just another little thing. Now what we're going to try and do is a hyperlink. So what we do is do a little bit there and just type a, then space, and then href. If you're using the same version as me, it should just come up with this little thing here. Click that, or no, press enter. Sorry and then it'll put those speech marks in. Within that speech mark is your file destination. It's come up with browse, so I'm going to tap enter again. And now, I'm going to use my... Um, okay, so I, I go into my website folder. I'm going to go to pages, and I'm going to use that derpity page, okay? Now what I do is do... I don't know if that little arrow is necessary, but just just follow what I do. Okay, then you're going to go click here, then go, I think it's like this, no, sorry, like that, okay? So that is where what the hyperlink is going to be. If we come over to design, see you've got a blue and underlined thing, obviously it means it's clickable. And then you can just type like, um, to view more derp, let's say, okay? And just as a safety thing, and again, I'm pretty clueless, don't know exactly what I'm doing here, but just put those P's in. Okay, so now you're going to want to save that. Save your... Um, oh no, okay, I guess I've already saved that. Okay, so that's all set up. So, you know, we've got a pretty basic design here. Right, now what you're going to want to do is go to that website, just find it, you know, through the browser, whatever. Double click on index, and this is just a way of testing the site. Okay, for some reason the grey background hasn't worked. 
don't really know why, so I'm going to go back and check. And I don't really know why it hasn't worked. Um, maybe if I try cutting that, and instead of just putting it in title, I'm going to try putting it right here. I'm going to save it. And um, if you've made changes and you've got the web page open, just refresh like that. Okay, that's done it. So if you want to change the background color, make sure it's not within body, head, or um, title. Just, you know, put it straight after HTML, I think. Well, obviously that's how it works. Okay, so now we're going to test out the hyperlink. So just click here. It's taken me to the other page, and then I can just go back. Oh, yeah, what I also forgot to do is, um, oh, by the way, don't worry about that. That's the website I showed you before. The next thing is we're going to make a link back because, you know, it would be a bit dumb if you can go to the page but you can't get back to where you came from. So within this, do your little P thing. Again, don't know why, just do it. Do your A, href. So we're just repeating what we did to make the link to get here. So then what you're going to want to do is put in the index, so that's this, into there, and then do this, go back to home, and do slash a, do your, uh, oh, see it's even filled in the p thing for me. Okay, so now I'm going to save that, come back into my, br oh, hang on, I closed it, didn't I? Okay, so if I open up my index again, go over to the dirt page, and then I can go back to home, so that, it's all good. So I'll show you the code so far. That's the home page. And that's the page that we clicked onto. Now the last thing I'm going to show you, and I learnt this I think like a couple of years ago and I've just figured it out again. And hopefully I can replicate what I did. Okay. Select your image. This is on the index.html, so the home page. On design, select the image, come down to your little rectangular tool, and just Select select the whole image if you can. Okay, I don't really know what that means, so don't worry about it. But down here, it should have come up with this. If it doesn't, I can't really help you. But it should have link. Hang on. No. Yeah, okay. Right click on, you know, the area you've selected. Go link. And then go to your derpity page, or whatever you've called it. Go okay. Now, hopefully... That should have made it, you know, so that it's linked. Yeah, okay, so that should have made it linked to the um, to the Derpity page. So I'm just going to save all of this. That should already be saved, but anyway. Okay, so now I'm going to refresh this page. And when I hover over, there should be a hand. That'll be a good indication that it's worked. Click on it, takes me to the Derpity site. So that is pretty much how to make a very... Very basic website. I think it looks nice with the grey background. You can also, what you can do, and I don't know if I showed you this, but you can, actually I think I did with the image, you can select the text, format, line, center, and of course that will affect the code, see it's done it there. Another thing you can do, um, so there's my text, you go mm, U, then close it here, like that. And that should have underlined it. Yeah, so there you go. It's underlined it and it's centered. Um, if I save that quickly and refresh. There you go. Now it's centered and underlined. So yeah, that's a really, really basic guide to how to make a website. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. And if you did, do whatever you want to. Okay, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye.